21 years ago, the Latino Caucus created the Latino Spirit Awards to recognize individuals who exemplify the true spirit of our Latino culture and heritage. We honored and recognized 11 prominent leaders throughout California who have given back to the Latino community in one way or another. Patricia Guerrero is the honoree for achievement in law and public service. It's an amazing honor to be here and a privilege. I'm deeply humbled when I look at all of the other amazing honorees. I think also it's a reflection of our rich culture, Latino culture and heritage, and it reminds me of my parents. My parents um, came to this country from Mexico, and what I think of is all of their hard work, their perseverance, and the courage it took for them to come here, and it's through their sacrifices that I hope to honor and also inspire future generations. Chief Justice Patricia Guerrero is the 29th Chief Justice of California. Elsa Marie Collins is the honoree for Achievement in Human Rights. She co-founded Poteristas, which is focused on Latina civic engagement and voting, and This Is About Humanity, a service organization raising awareness and funds for separated and reunified families at the U.S.-Mexico border. For, you know, our legislators to think that a trans-Latina mujer emigrante to be part of this cohort of amazing honorees it's certainly a great honor. Bambi Salcido is the honoree for achievement in human rights. I think it's, it's definitely a pathway for many of us that could also be recognized and honored simply because of who we are, but also the work that we have done in many, many years. Bambi's work has brought visibility and given a voice to not only the trans community and others whose efforts focus on immigration, HIV, at-risk youth, LGBTQIA plus issues, incarceration, and more. Miguel Mike Angel Elizondo Jr. is the honoree for achievement in music and entertainment. Mike Elizondo is a Grammy Award winning producer, songwriter, and musician who has collaborated with major artists. He produced songs on the Hamilton mixtape and music for Disney's Encanto, for which he won a Grammy for Best Compilation for Visual Media. DJ Irene is the honoree for achievement in music and entertainment. Irene Mejia Gutierrez, otherwise known as DJ Irene, has been called America's Most Loved DJ. DJ Irene has produced 18 mix CD albums and is the top-selling American female DJ in the United States. Additionally, she's produced over 50 original electronic dance music songs, including her single, You're the Worst Thing For Me. They are all in their own right change makers. They're showing up for the people day in and day out. Graciela Moreno is the honoree for achievement in journalism and media. Graciela Moreno is an Emmy Award winning journalist. 26 years ago, she was the first journalist in the Central Valley to cross over from Spanish to anchor the news in the market's number one English language television station. Moreno grew up in a migrant farmer labor camps throughout California. Welcome Graciela Moreno. <laughs> David Perez Tejada Padilla is the honoree for achievement in public service. David Perez Tejada Padilla has over 15 years of experience in public service at all levels. He currently serves as Director of Binational Affairs at the State of Baja, California, where he works to relaunch the Commission of the Californias and collaborates with stakeholders on both sides of the border to boost the regional economy and spur innovation. The Diaz brothers, Joel, Antonio, and Julio, are honorees for achievement in athletics. For the last 20 years, the Diaz brothers have been professional boxers. Antonio is the former International Boxing Association Light Welterweight and World Boxing Organization Latino Light Middleweight Champion. Julio, the kid, is a former IBF Lightweight World Champion. And Joel was the number one rated contender and mandatory to the WBC Lightweight Champion. Joel retired from boxing and now runs a world-class gym and training facility in Coachella. Never in a million years did I ever imagine or even dare to dream that I would one day win an Oscar. <laughs> Yvette Marino is the honoree for achievement in arts and entertainment. Yvette Marino is the Academy Award winning producer of Encanto and the first Latina to receive the Oscar for animated feature. I didn't know anyone in the entertainment industry when I started, and so I started as a temp, and I just wanted to work. And then I realized that 
Working at Disney Animation is pretty special because everybody's pretty passionate about what they do there. And so I searched and found my passion and I started working in production. I was like, oh my gosh, this is it. I love it. During her 25 year long career at Disney, she served as production manager on the Oscar winning feature Big Hero 6, as well as the Oscar nominated Moana. Unable to attend today's ceremony is Gustavo Dudamel. He is the honoree for achievement in arts and entertainment. Gustavo Dudamel is the music and artistic director for the Los Angeles Philharmonic and music director of Opera National de Paris and Simone Bolivar Symphony Orchestra. Mr. Dudamel won the 2022 Grammy for Best Choral Performance for his performance of Malia's Symphony No. 8. Miguel Ruiz is the honoree for achievement in literature. Don Miguel Ruiz is the internationally best-selling author of a series of books including The Four Agreements which has sold over 10 million copies in the U.S. alone and has been translated into 46 languages. Don Miguel is highly respected throughout the world. He has received numerous recognitions, including a U.S. Air Force Challenge coin engraved with the four agreements. Latinos will largely determine the future of California and will be essential to securing the state's future prosperity.